Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we wanted to make a general guide to the Windows 11 security features, and we're gonna show you how to generally keep your PC safe. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. <coughs> First thing we're gonna cover is inside of our settings. Hit Windows key and I together to pull up the settings. Navigate down towards the middle here where it says accounts. Now just scroll down a little bit until we see sign in options. Here we have a variety of options and this is of course going to largely depend on your hardware. In my case, I don't have any facial recognition features on my computer, nor do I have a fingerprint sensor, but I can always set a pin. So with this, my pin is already set. If you don't have one here, this is the menu again where you can configure your facial recognition, fingerprint, or pins. This is the first and most effective measure of security for keeping your PC safe. These features collectively are called Windows Hello, and it is more effective than traditional methods because it creates an added layer of security over a standard password. Next up, we're gonna open the control panel. So we'll simply type in control panel and we'll open it up. Click into system and security. Towards the middle, we're gonna click BitLocker drive encryption. We can see that BitLocker is off. My C drive holds my sensitive data on this computer. And so for this drive, I wanna turn on BitLocker and this is going to be a drive encryption in the event that my computer is stolen. So I'll click to turn on BitLocker and we'll let it load. At this point, we can go ahead and hit next. Here we have a recommendation to back up critical files and data. So if you need to do that, go ahead and do that. I will hit next. All right, our drive has been prepared for BitLocker and now we just move to the encrypting part. Okay, so we're gonna hit save to Microsoft account. That's what I wanna do. At this point, I'll select next. We're gonna select encrypt entire drive and this is best for PCs already in use. I'll select next and I'll select new encryption mode and I will hit start encrypting. Okay, and that was the last step to enable BitLocker. So once that's finished, my drive will be successfully encrypted. I could do the same thing for my other drives, but in this case, the data on there is not sensitive, so I don't need to. Next up, we're gonna cover Windows Defender. Windows key and I again to open up our settings and inside of the privacy and security tab, hit Windows Security. We're gonna click open Windows Security and let's see what we use. And once inside, we can set up some safety parameters. I'm going to dismiss setting up OneDrive. And with that said, I can click down to virus and threat protection. And again, we're just gonna make sure that these settings are turned on. So as we can see, everything is enabled and we can see when my last scan was, which was earlier today. Ensuring that Windows Defender stays on and you check it and is running regular scans will help to prioritize your device safety. All right, guys, and the last thing that we're gonna check inside of our computer here is simply just the Windows update. So towards the bottom of the settings menu, make sure your computer stays up to date. As we can see, I have some updates to install. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these. Keeping your computer up to date is going to make sure that your computer holds the highest safety standards. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about keeping your PC safe, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As we continue to grow the channel, your ideas are extremely valuable to us. So we invite you to ask yourself the question, what video would you like to see? Comment that idea below. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.